to relax in pain. And today I'm doing some sketching and a fun little watercolor effect and and then some pen and ink. So let's keep let's keep watching and see what happens. I'm gonna make my design from the front going backwards. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna do a couple of sunflowers. So here's the center of the sunflowers. And then I'm going to make the front petals with my pencil first. All right. And I'm going in and out just like if I was stroking them. Um, and these are going to be shorter and they kind of look like they come at us a little bit. These right here. All right. So then we want to do a little bit past this. Okay. So these would be the ones I stroked first, way back here. Okay. All right. So in here, I also have a center. All right. I'm going to do a big oak leaf here. Curves down. All right. And then it would have a stem in the middle. Okay, so then this would be another sunflower. All right, a little bit out here. And it's kind of going away here. Can you see it, it's down? So I'm going to come out here a little bit more. Okay, so you want to have the layers. So I just have a mechanical pencil, the inexpensive big one um, with white erasers because they it's really the right lead and everything for me. And so I'm not worrying about uh, what it's going to um, do for me. All right. So I've got a stem here and then I'm going to come up here underneath this sunflower and have a couple layers Okay, of uh, greenery. It's not going to be green, though. I, you're going to like what I'm doing. All right, so then I want to come in here. And these, I think about what's closest to you. These petals, the underneath and these petals would be first. And then back in here would be the brown the center okay and then so what's going to happen is all around here you're going to see petals that are all showing here now you might not see the ones that are laying back okay so there we go all right just wait till we start coloring this and <laughs> then it's going to be fun okay so I'm doing some little branches with some berries. Okay, and then in here, I think I, these are, look like little jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, and we have another one here. I forget, they look like, I can't describe them. I forget what the name of it is. I knew it and then I got on here and I'm forgetting. Okay, so these have little leaves. All right, then we'll just have a little string of little other color browns. So I'm just doing this all with a pencil. When we get through, we'll make some really nice pen and ink. All right, then I'm going to do little long leaves. Okay, and a big leaf. Okay, and then a leaf here. All right, and another leaf here. So this is kind of like a fun little drawing exercise, and but I want you to see when it's all done. You can print off my design and you can take and trace it and make one 
just like I'm doing, but it's kind of fun to see what happens. These are the segments of the pumpkin, okay? And so we got some leaves here. I always look, if I draw one and put a stem in it, that's a leaf so that it won't look like a petal, okay? So now let's take and get some smaller brushes. I got a 12 and a 10 maybe, and I pulled out my acrylic paints. And one of the things I'm gonna do is put some floating medium in here. And this floating medium is the fluff that's inside the paint, it's folk art. And I'm using folk art paint. So we have multi-surface paint. This is Pueblo, yellow ochre. This is a pretty yellow. This is a new one I'm using, it's called Daybreak. And so medium gray and Pueblo right here. All right, so multi-surface, it goes on paper, canvas, wood, outdoor, indoor. It's got a sealer in it. And then we're gonna use some medium. So the medium's the fluff that's inside with paint, inside a paint with no pigment. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna pick up this, this darker um, brown, which is burnt sienna. And this burnt sienna, by the way, is um, a regular matte acrylic. Okay, there's a few colors I use like that. All right, so we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna kind of watercolor this in like you do color book, color book, color book painting, watercolor painting. Just like you're filling in like a color book though. Okay, and I'm using floating medium to do that. All right, so floating medium and then the burnt sienna. So I'm gonna go around and let's make this the water, I mean the medium will just spread it for you. So, and then I'm just gonna get some on the edges to make it darker, right? Okay, so let's do the same thing over here. All right, floating medium and burnt sienna. Okay, so then I can come right in here and do some center. And there where it's a little bit darker. I just love, I think y'all like the color combination that we're using here. All right, so I do need another brown, which is uh, asphaltum. Let's see if I got this. As asphaltum will give you some pretty color here. All right, so what we're gonna do for this is, first of all, we're gonna get this, this, um, all right, daybreak yellow, okay? And I'm going to come in here, okay, with some medium and some yellow ochre kind of, and we're going to come right in here and I'm going to use a larger brush. Let's get at least a 16. Okay, so we've got medium. I'm going to kind of put medium all in here so it moves easier for us. And then watch what I'm doing. Medium, a little bit, a, jaw, a dot of that daybreak and some yellow ochre. Now look, it should feel like butter when you're moving this if you've got enough medium in there. So, all right, medium, daybreak, yellow ochre. Oops, we gotta work that, work that. Okay, and that kind of fun? All right, I'm going to put a little bit more daybreak in here. Yeah, I can do that and then come back medium and yellow ochre. So see, I'm going to come right around here again. Side stroke, see on side stroke a little bit. Okay, a little side stroke. 
Now, how fun is that pumpkin? It didn't look hard at all, did it? Okay. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of these browns. And But when I did the brown, I'm going to put a teeny bit of white in here. Oops. So, if I bring a little bit of white with that little bit of brown, mm -hmm. I think I want another color. Let's see, what if we do a little bit of coffee latte? Right, a little bit. Now we need the medium with that. And these are gonna be the leaves. So where's that leaf? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're just putting some browns in there. All right, so we're going to come along here. It's kind of fun. It's a nice way to wake up, showing you a different little bit of a technique. Watercolor paper, and then you just frame it in a glass frame. Uh, frame with glass in it, just the ones you buy at the store that um, are quick and easy, ready. I've even bought some at Dollar Tree. But if you go a little bit nicer with something that you have hand painted like this, I, these are things you could sit. I like to sit when my husband's watching TV. Something I can just bring a little paintbrush with some paint on my double loader and sit here and work with it. Well, we're watching TV, but I'm, I'm just having fun. A little teeny bit of paintbrush, a teeny bit of medium so you don't need water. All right, so I can put a little bit of gray in there. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of gray with a, with a, there you go, with the coffee latte. All right. All right, all right, all right. We have a little leaf back here. Okay, and now we're going to pick up medium with that same paint in my brush. And I'm going to come right in here, go up and around. So I'm going to do some asphalt in here. See how the, just the corner of the brush is going around doing this. See? Fill this in. A little bit around. Okay, a little bit of medium gray. And you pull the stems in here. All right, so see, it's kind of natural looking. Um, what's gonna make this pop is when we put a little bit of some of these other colors in here. This are, dang it, I know what they're called. <laughs> I can't remember. You are going to write me and tell me what they are. I know you are. See, so this had, I left that color on there, but I just picked up the Pueblo on the outside. Okay, so I think we're down to the fun. Oh, no, no. I'm going to put a little bit of this Asphaltum and Pueblo. And we're going to do these little, not with this brush. Let's pick a smaller brush. Okay, a little bit of asphalt um, in Pueblo. And we are doing loading medium.
Okay, a little bit. We also have a few more of these branches. Loading medium. Okay, so we're going to come down here. We're going to get this. Okay, so look, a little dark in here. All right, so it's pretty easy so far. We got a lot of fun stuff to do to it yet, though. All right, so I'm going to get medium and pick up this beautiful daybreak color, and I'm going to pull it from here. So with the medium on here. Touching the edge and pulling out. Stronger at the edges. So just a quick little bit of going out past between both layers. All right, but when we get the depth, you're going to love this. So floating medium and daybreak. Pretty new color. We just got this color in stock, which I love it. All right, so see the color all in here. All against the center is the yellow. Okay. All right, so you see that so far? Now, more medium, and we're going to get all in here. And you don't want it to look painted. You want it to look watercolor. Okay, there we go. All right, we can come back in here and get that rusty color back in. Some dark right here. Okay. You can take your little scruffy brush and hit it along there too. Okay, now let's get some good shading in there. To get the shading, we're going to want yellow ochre. So we're going to come right in here into each one of these. And we just go along that edge and in the V, along that edge. See what I'm doing? I'm going to go back here and then along the center. So look, along the center, actually you can just go all the way around. Okay, and then you're going to come in this crack for the background. See how the back little guy goes? I'm going to pull some of these up. Keep side stroking the yellow ochre. Oops. So, and you see how fast this is? Just by using floating medium, a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm going to come in here and get the ones in the background. There you go. Okay. All right, so let's get floating medium. And I'm going to show you these back here. So we're going to go along this in the edge. Right, so we're going to come right in here. Oops, I got the wrong edge on that. All 
Okay, see how it gets pretty color. All right, a little bit more yellow ochre, and we can go back here first. So you might see it better. See if I come back here. Floating medium yellow ochre. And floating medium, there's no mistakes. It's just like you can make it stronger or lighter. You can take it out if you don't like it. All right, medium, a little bit of yellow ochre. Now we just do along here. Yeah, go in here along the edge, along the edge of the, the center. A little bit in here. Isn't that pretty? I think that's so fun. Okay. So, so we got a lot to make this look really like I want it to look. And I'm going to put the berries in last. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow dry this. I'm not making this super perfect. Because everything I'm going to do now, I'm going to use, this is IdentiPen. And we sell these and they have a small tip and a larger tip. All right. So I use different tips for different part of the painting. All right. So in here, I'm just doing these branches. But what we're going to do is we're going to come back with the paintbrush, the handle, and we're going to dot our berries. So I want you to just be loose and I want you to like see when we have these little leaves, then you're going to come around, around, and then we're going to do some little wrinkles there and little wrinkles there. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit closer. So we're going to go right here and pull this down. Okay, so look, we outline it, outline it. And then we're going to go like this with some accents. All right, see how you're getting all that detail? So watch this. All right, then we go in here with the centers. All right, so let's look at this. We're loose, loose, loose. So like I'm going to do the stem in here. And we're going to come out here. All right. So then we come up here. And do the petals. So look, it doesn't matter if you go outside the lines or what you do. There's no mistakes. See, I'm really wiggly. Even though I have a shaky hand sometimes. Okay, so can you see that? I'm going to take that. Now, if you get this while it's wet at all, the paint, it totally wrecks the identity pen. So you have to totally let this be dry before you come in here. All right. So same thing's happening around here. I'm using the bigger end. Oops. So we go around the edge. And see, I like to just sit and play with these. But look, see all that right there is done? And you saw how quick that was, right? So what I'm going to do is go back to the little, the little. And see, I am not worried about, um, sometimes you see I got out of the line. 
That doesn't bother me. See? Okay, so there again, I would go all the way around these little guys first, because those are in front. And then, then you come back here and get these little guys. Isn't this fun? And to me, it's so relaxing. Okay, then I can go back and do detail. Okay, so I'm going all the way around here. I'm taking longer today, but I just think this is a project that you guys will enjoy. But yet it was simple to create. Okay. Okay, let's see. Well, let's come in here. Just be loose, guys. Okay, so we're going to go around here. Go down here. Hey, okay, now all you do is go back in here. I want you to see when I get through with this one. So look, I can zigzag it, or I can do little teeny strokes like this. All right, so I want you to look at this compared to that. Look at the difference, okay? I don't take a lot of time. I just have fun while I'm doing it. And there you go. Now I'm going to use the bigger head, the bigger end of the marker to get my detail on here. Okay. Oh, darn it. Sorry. You didn't see me doing that. And then I'm coming down here. And I could come down in here and shade some more because it would be dark under here. Okay, so okay, guys.
I'm going to put those little berries. All right. A little bit of this. Okay, <laughs> and that kind of fun. I hope you like it. I'm going to put the last little handle dip berries in here. And I'm going to use um, this color. And sometimes you don't want outline on everything. Okay, you can do them a couple different colors if you want. Handle fresh paint. It's called dip dot berries. All right. And we can put a couple here and there. And a little few berries in here. If you like it, but guys. I've got some bumblebee stencils. You can stencil in here, but use the lighter colors, okay? I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was fun. Something different. Sometimes I like to touch it up, change it up, and make it special. Subscribe on the Donna G. Ray channel and join our membership because it's called the One Stroke Advantage. I give you all kinds of advantages by being a member. And so you don't want to miss out. Go check those out. It's only $9.99 or $9.95 a month, and you get four complete lessons and more. And you always get 20% off when you're a member of that membership, 20% off of the onestroke.com website for all your supplies. All right. So thanks for joining me. Please subscribe and ring the bell, and I'll tell you anytime I come on. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.